Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today is a cold, rainy day here in South Texas, and we are in January. And luckily where I live in Zone 8B, there's still a lot actually that I can grow. But for most of us, we're very limited on what we can grow in the winter. However, there is a way that you guys can grow veggies inside and be able to get all the nutrients you need and that's something called microgreens i'm going to take you inside i'm going to show you how i set up microgreens it does take a little bit of money to be able to start you got to get some lights and some trays and stuff like that but it's really not that expensive you're gonna need some trays i use these small trays for mine which have some holes and a base to hold water you will need two bases for each microgreen you grow i got a 10 pack online and i will link below in the description section to where i got them if you're interested and of course you will need some seeds this is broccoli which makes a really great microgreen for small seeds you will need some type of medium to grow them on you can use stuff like peat moss or coconut core but they make these handy little compressed paper-like mediums they come in large sheets and i just cut them down to size another thing that is beneficial is to have a spray bottle filled with three percent hydrogen peroxide which will help limit microbe growth of course you need another spray bottle filled with water as well and go ahead and spray the medium until it is moist like I'm doing here. Then it is time to sprinkle on the seeds. You want them fairly densely packed. And I will say I didn't make them dense enough, I don't think. There are some ratios online where you can find how dense to plant the seeds. And once the seeds are sprinkled on, then water them once more with a spray bottle. You really want to soak them in quite a bit. Then I spray them with hydrogen peroxide to keep mold from growing. Next, place another tray on top so the bottom is resting on the seeds and then place something fairly heavy on top. This will help the seedlings send their roots through the medium easier. So I have a fair amount of microgreen seeds and I've tried all of them and there are more than I have here, but here are a few different types that you can try. Of course, I just planted the broccoli, which is some of the highest nutrient content of all the microgreens. Green pea microgreens taste like sugar snap peas and they're awesome. Another popular one is black oil sunflowers, which have a really nutty taste. Cilantro can be used as a garnish on tacos or wherever else you use chopped cilantro. Mustard is great for a spicy kick in salads. You can even get some seed mixes with a bunch of different types of seeds. And I'm sure all of you have heard of wheatgrass, and that's just basically microgreens. You can sprout your own. Okay, I decided I was going to plant a few more microgreens, so I'll bring you along for them as well. Here's some cilantro. Now the seeds are larger, so I actually like growing them on a different medium. This jute fiber works well for medium-sized seeds. I will also plant some peas as well, and the seeds are so large that you can just keep them directly on the tray without any medium, as they won't fall through the holes. Usually with the larger seeds, you're going to need to soak them first. I do this with the trays. Just fill the bottom tray halfway with water, then sprinkle in the seeds, and then place the mesh tray on top to keep them submerged. I'll do the same thing with the pea seeds. These also stack well on top of each other for space saving. Let's let them soak for six hours. Okay, they have now soaked, so let's dump out the water, which is made easy with this mesh top. Put the seeds into the grow medium and spread them out evenly. Place a bottom tray on top. And let's do the same thing with the pea seeds. And we can also place the broccoli seeds on top as well. Place them on your grow rack stacked, and then put something heavy on top of them all. Now is the next day, January 5th, and I am checking to make sure they didn't dry out. The peas definitely need more water since they aren't sitting on a grow medium. Alright, back to the rack until tomorrow. Well, two days later, and I'm needing to water all of them. None have fully sprouted yet, but I do have little roots popping out of the broccoli already, and the peas as well. All right, back to the rack for another day. This is the next day, the 8th of January. The broccoli has sprouted now. I am also adding more hydrogen peroxide to keep mold growth down. Now that they have sprouted, let's put the tray on upside down. We want to block light for another day to get the stems to grow tall, but we do not want to compress them anymore. The other seedlings aren't ready though. They do take longer. Back on the rack under weight. The next day, it's time to give the broccoli some light but the peas need another day to compress though. Now the broccoli has roots sticking out of the bottom, so you can just fill up the bottom tray with water and they will soak that up. 
On the sixth day after planting, the peas have pushed the heavy water bottle up from under the tray. Water more underneath the sprouted greens, and the peas will go under darkness for one day. It's the 12th, eight days since planting, and the peas now are getting the light. The following day, I had lots of errands to run, and I forgot to water the plants. So this is the 14th day, 10 days after planting, and my broccoli has died. The peas still are going strong though. And the cilantro didn't sprout too well. These are older seeds and the germination rates have plummeted. It's good to buy new seeds every year when doing this. This is the 18th and I am ready to harvest the peas. 14 days after initially planting. Just grab a sharp knife and cut them off at the stem. So you can't just pull the roots out because they're all twisted around. So I cut them close and that makes it easier to remove everything. You can put the microgreens in a Ziploc baggie and put it in your fridge. They will last for about a week or so. 